Continuing pandemic coverage for you tonight. We're hearing from viewers frustrated with trying to find at home rapid COVID tests. Bill Folsom looking into the shortage possible options. He joins us live in the Springs. Bill. Yeah, we're in the middle of the Omicron surge and we've heard from a lot of people who are wanting to get that test. They've gone store to store and they say they are not finding it. We put that to the test and went and found that that is true until we got to this Walgreens here on Fillmore in Nevada. Had somebody was just coming out and said they found a couple after they'd been looking around and there are a couple more left, but overall they're really hard to find. The exception is if you go to the community testing sites, the tests they have there are not home and they're not rapid. They are reliable and they are available. It's on the after holiday wish list of hot items. We checked and rapid at home COVID tests are hard to find at local stores. Alternative PCR tests through community sites take 24 to 48 hours. There is also high demand as the Omicron variant surges. They are available. You know, I think it's related to uh, people having gatherings during the holidays and doing some of the traveling that they've done that they have a sense that they may have had more exposure. A lot of people self testing is a good thing. It shows community members wanting to be part of slowing the COVID spread. Follow it up. If you're having symptoms, truly your best bet is to get that PCR testing. Federal and state elected leaders are promising increased rapid test production and availability. Only right now, an online request for a free rapid test through Colorado Department of Public Health may take a while. Orders are confirmed, but delivery in recent weeks has been uncertain. December 12th, and then I have not received another shipment since then, even though I've ordered three more times. Also know the rapid tests have been less reliable with the Omicron variant. A positive is likely true. A negative is maybe, maybe not. Still follow that up with a PCR test. And federal and state leaders say they have been in contact with manufacturers and they're hoping to increase production and make things available. But at best, that is a couple of weeks away, if not more. So in the meantime, you can go to those community sites. They've actually activated the National Guard and they are helping to expedite the process there. In Colorado Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill, thanks. That brings us.